Hey, what's up and welcome to Hack My Growth. In this episode, we're gonna be looking at rich results and structured data and how we can leverage these to set our site apart in search. Are you looking to grow your business but you're not sure where to start? That's where we come in. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time watching or maybe you've been watching a while and you're not yet a subscriber, please hit the button right now and don't forget to turn on alerts. That way you know each and every time we create new content. So as I said in the opening, we're gonna be talking about rich results. And Google's made massive shifts in the way that it's displayed search results over the last few years. Uh, as you can see, just in this image alone, is just kind of looking at mobile search. We've seen this happen on display uh, and we see new and more exciting rich results um, so every so often now. It used to be, you know, these these changes wouldn't happen very frequently. Today it seems like changes are happening extremely fast. So what are rich results? These are experiences on Google surfaces, such as Google Search or Maps. Uh, it's happening now in image search as well and, and a number of other assets. These can be, you know, things like image carousels or product carousels, or people also ask for boxes or knowledge graph. There's a lot of different ways that Google is now displaying information and they use structured data to help them understand the content on a page and also to determine whether or not it fits within what they're doing in the rich results. So we can actually leverage our structured data to help us gain these positions in search. Now, there's a lot of different kinds of rich results. These are what Google is using right now. And this is not all the schema types, but these are all the types of rich results that they're using. There's actually 28 available to us in search at the moment, but not every single one of them is gonna to apply to every single business. So today we're gonna to look at some specific ones that I wanna focus on, but really that's also a question you need to ask yourself is which ones are the most important to your business. Now you can check all of these out at developer.google.com and find a lot more of information about them there. But like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at these 10 specifically. And we're gonna look at what they are, what they look like in the search results, and also what does the schema or the JSON-LD markup look like? Now, if you want this code directly, again, I just recommend you going to Google and they actually give you like an example of the code. You can also use most of these schema markup tools uh, online. There's some for WordPress, but there's also uh, Merkle has a really great one as well. And I'll add a link to that structured data tool uh, that you can use to help get you started. So the first one we wanted to look at is corporate contact. Now, a lot of companies want this knowledge panel, right, with their business name and things like uh, their, their social media followers and who made them. Now, you can create these or influence these by doing a number of things. One of the most important parts, though, is having your contact information on them and the right contact information on them. And by using schema markup, you can actually add this contact point, is what it's called, to your structured data or to your organizational markup. So as you can see here, it's gonna add a customer service phone number and you need to have both the number, you also need to have a URL associated with it for it to be valid. Otherwise it will throw an error in the structured data testing. Events are another great thing to, to add markup to because events have these really cool rich features. As you can see here, we've got things like uh, a concerts in Chicago. It's got all these different dates and then you can just see it in maps. And then you can also buy the tickets all of these are highlighted and connected through this markup here. Uh, it's a really cool way to leverage uh, event markup, adding in all of your information, and then hopefully you know, promoting that to Google, having Google come and crawl that page, and allowing those events to show up in these, these event carousels. These are really cool for, for venues, uh, really cool for sporting events, uh, for also business events uh, as well. FAQ, this is a newer, structured data, uh, not newer structured data, but a newer rich feature. And you can use the FAQ markup in order to get your facts in here. So what's really cool is your site has this giant listing. Now people will get information directly from the SERPs. So you could see not as many people necessarily clicking through to your website. And I know for a lot of people that's been an issue lately with Google when they're showing so much information while they are technically citing your site, you're actually could be possibly losing traffic. But there's also the other side to this where if people get this information and they want to learn more and go deeper into the FAQs, then they're gonna have to click in. And when you have this really nice box of all this information that you can display, that's your one listing in search results, that can be very powerful real estate for your company. Again, JSON-LD is the markup here being used. 
uh, you can have a number of questions and answers. Then you have Google crawl that page, and again, this is what the rich result will look like. Similar to the FAQ is the how-to. So if you're doing how-to videos or you're creating content of how to do uh, X, Y, Z, you can leverage now the how-to markup in order to hopefully get this result here in the, uh, the rich results. So it's going to show the number of steps that are being done, how, how many days does it take. I mean, all that information that you're displaying in your piece of content can also be marked up and added to the layer in JSON-LD, which would then allow you to have this step-by-step -step interaction. Now, this is a really cool thing. And again, so you do have this link to your site. So if they want to get all five steps, they want to go deeper into the process, they need to click into your site and see that. Now, this is a little bit more extensive of code. So you see here, it continues down here, continues down here. Um, there's a lot going on here. But again, you're adding in the steps, you're adding in the directions, you're adding in all the content, uh, and like the, the stuff you're going to need to actually achieve this. So when you're, when you're doing how to, uh, you're gonna have to invest some time and energy in this and make sure you test it using the Google Structured Data Testing Tool that everything is verified and then submit it to the index. Local businesses need to stand out, right? I mean, we have so many businesses in the listings and sometimes you wanna make your business set apart. You wanna be able to show what you have available and what you can do. Now, one way you can help improve your visibility and make sure that you show up in search and maps and also have a business like knowledge card is by adding local business schema. This is a pretty simple schema to add. This is a very bare bones basic version of it over here in the example. Um, but you can also add other things to it and then get other features like this company does where they have their rating, they have their menu, they have like find a table. Uh, Google's doing a lot of cool stuff like that, especially with restaurants and, and, sit, and places like that you can book an appointment at. You can do it right there within the search results. I actually recently did that a couple weeks ago when we went out to dinner. Logo. So this is kind of connected to what we talked about when it, we were showing the corporate knowledge card. Uh, if you want to change your logo or make sure that your logo shows up in your knowledge panel, you want to mark it up very simply by adding it to your organizational schema, have the URL, have the logo associated with it, and that will help your logo show up in the knowledge graph. So products, this is another interesting markup. So this is happening not just in the search results with like product carousels, but also in images. Uh, you can actually add tags to your images. So you can do this with products and also recipe schema right now. Uh, and as you can see here in this phone, these got tags that say product. And then when you add this extra structured data to it and you look at it, you not only have this really nice um, what the product is description, but also the rating and the price of the product. So you can add a lot more context to your product and get these awesome rich features in Google search by adding product schema. Again, it's a little bit longer, but the time is definitely worth the investment. Q&A is similar to how to or FAQ, excuse me. Uh, and this is where if you have a question and answer format, and maybe you have like a forum or support forum where you have common questions, somebody's having an, an issue with something, and you can actually highlight in the search results what the right answer is and show the other possible answers here as well in kind of this carousel feature. This is a new rich, rich feature from Google or a newer rich feature from Google, and you can use the Q&A schema to help you get into this. Now, one thing that's, that needs to be said the content that's in your schema needs to match the content that's on your page. Googlebot will read both. If you're saying one thing one place and you're saying something else another place, that's not good practice. Um, and honestly, it shows very deceptive practices and the Googlebot's pretty smart and can figure things out when, when people are trying to trick it. So make sure that your question and answers match up very well with your schema. Software applications. This is uh, something a lot of people, whether you have a, a progressive web app or maybe you've got an Android or an iPhone application, marking these up so that you can get found in search. You can also show the ratings, you can show how much it costs, what platform you're on. It's not this huge long line of code, but it's extremely valuable and can give Google the information you want them to use when they're highlighting your product or your application in the search results. And the last one is video. Now we've got a lot of tools now that will actually create schema for you uh, when you embed them into a page, but you wanna make sure that you're embedding these videos uh, with their name, the description, with the thumbnails. As you can see, you can even have your thumbnails show up in image search now where people can say, this is a thumbnail from a video and they can click and actually watch the whole video. 
a video schema is, is very powerful. Video is a great platform. Adding this structured data to it in order to get your rich placements is even better. So I highly recommend you take the time and energy to, to investigate the video schema so you can show up in the rich cards. Now we just talked about 10 and we went through them very fast. I didn't actually show you how to implement any of those. I do plan on building all of this together uh, and showing how to actually implement some of these and what happens when it looks like when you get those results. Uh, we're doing a number of tests right now. But if you want to learn more, go to developers.google.com and you can see all of that here. If you're interested in learning how to implement that, I'm actually going to put a link to our structured data implementation video at the end of this one as well so you can actually see how you would actually build that schema and then how you could put it on your website in a couple of different ways. If you have any questions about what we talked about here or you want to have another conversation about marketing, please comment below. We'd love to continue that conversation with you. And until next time, happy marketing.